Dialogue that cannot be salvaged from production tracks must be re-recorded in a process called looping, or ADR. Automatic dialogue replacement is a process of re-recording dialogue in the studio in sync with the picture. An actor watches the image repeatedly while listening to the original production tracks on headphones as a guide. The actor then re-performs each line to match the wording and lip movements. Actors can vary in their ability to achieve sync and to recapture the emotional tone of their performance. The actor has to recreate his or her performance and perfectly match up his or her speech to that of the film. The recording engineer has to recreate the acoustic spaces so that it doesn't sound like an actor was in a recording studio. The sound editor has to pick and choose the best parts of the multiple takes and combine them into one composite clip and keep everything synced to picture. The process of recording ADR involves a way to cue the actor to record in sync. In a professional ADR studio, there will be a cueing system that will involve sync pops and visual cues known as streamers and punches, like this here. This is a digital performer and it has within the program streamers and punches. The streamer plays across the screen telling the actor to get ready to record, then a punch hits the screen along with the two beep telling the actor to begin recording. Pro Tools relies on a third party system for any visual cues, so if you're doing any ADR recording, you'll have to rely on sync pops only. Now creating sync pops for an ADR session is no different than creating sync pops or reference tone for anything else. Now the only difference is for an ADR session, the sync pops are used to cue the actor and to give some timing and pacing before the actor starts to uh, record their synced dialogue. So in ADR, there's usually about four sync pops. There's one, two, three, four. And on the fourth one is the cue for the actor to go ahead and start recording. But the fourth one is kind of imaginary and implied. So here I have a session which I'm gonna record some ADR for this first line right here. How long was I in the hospital for? So I'm gonna re-record that as ADR, but I need to generate my sync pop so I can give myself some lead in time. Like I said, not difficult at all. It's the same way in which we did it before but it's the spacing or the pacing between each sync pop. Usually I've found that around 20 frames between each sync pop usually gives a good kind of pacing. If you need something faster, you can go around 15 frames depending on the actor and their timing and their pacing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the one hour mark and I'm gonna create a one frame selection, pull up the signal gen and go ahead and I'm gonna Hit that, now I've got my sync pop created. Now I'm gonna put this around 19, 20 frames later. I'm gonna hit copy and I'm gonna to go to about one hour and 19 frames. Hit paste, cool. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with my third. So I'm gonna to go to about one minute and 15 frames. Awesome, so if I just quickly play that back, so that fourth one is where the actor starts and you can kind of feel that the tempo and the pacing or the spacing between these sync pops is giving you that one, two, three, go. One more time. The best thing to do now would be to consolidate these guys. All right, let's call it ADR sync. All right, so now it's time to set this up right before where we're gonna actually be recording. So I'm gonna put this on a spare track. Now, the fourth one is that lead in and that's where it should fall right before the actor needs to come in for that dialogue. So let's try it right about here. Oops, let me solo this as well. Let's try this one more time. How long was I? Perfect. So that works. So now we're basically ready to start recording. Now, since this is ADR, there's going to need to be multiple passes, multiple takes going over to basically try and get the best take. And at the end of the day, most likely these takes will be comped together for a final composite. So the best thing to do now is to set up Pro Tools to be in loop record mode. So go to preferences, operation, and then automatically create new playlists when loop recording. So that's going to create a new playlist putting each take on a new playlist as I record over and over and over. So I need to give it some space. So that entire selection is gonna be looped and within it, 
I'll get cued by those sync pops as to when I need to come in. So I'm going to make sure I go into loop record. And all right, here is my acting debut. Let's hope it goes over well. How, How long, long was, was I in the hospital, hospital for? How long was I in the hospital for? Okay, so now I've done a bunch of different takes. And I'm going to change the track to show my playlists. So here are all the various takes of the loops that I did for this particular line. So now at this point, I've got this line down. If I think I need more takes, I'll just go ahead and record more as I need to. But if I think I've got enough going, if I think I have enough that I can work with, I'm just going to move on to the next line. As an ADR spotting session, I should have markers already lined up for the lines that I know I'm going to have to do ADR for. And then I can just simply move around or copy and paste my sync pops to the next location. So pretty guerrilla way of doing ADR, but it's actually really effective and it works. And I've used it um, numerous occasions to do, to do ADR at home and it hasn't been a problem. It's been pretty, actually pretty effective. So the next video, I'm going to look at comping these takes together to compile a good final take.